Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Check here, Lenovo Chromebook i3, a decent laptop. Now let's see what the customer is saying about this laptop. So the customer is saying USB-C charging only works when uh, the plug torn in one dire direction. Yeah, that's the, that's the only issue. So actually the laptop is good. Yeah, so we are not looking for some motherboard fault. Let's power on. And check here, you can see the laptop is coming on. Now let's test it to be sure uh, that's the fault. We have the meter here, let's see. One direction is not charging, and the other one is charging. So the meter it is coming on, 14 volts, 2.1 amp. Now you'll say, easy money, right? I mean, a charging port, you know, just, you know, it's a quick job. Not a big deal, right? Okay, let's check the charging port together. Okay, not sure if you can see, but the pins are perfect on this side. You can see the pins? Perfect, yeah? The charging port is like brand new. On the other way, check there. So this is the other way of the charging port, and every pin is present, and it's like in perfect condition. So for me, this port looks exactly like a brand new port. So you see, it's not that easy. Looks easy, but it's not that easy. It's not always the charging port. Now, what you are looking for, because the meter is not getting enabled, yeah? what you are looking is for the two pins from the middle of the USB port. Yeah, so that based on that pin signal, the charger it will get enabled. Can we do like, you know, like a bridge, do some dodgy job? Yeah, we can, obviously we can, but Check here, this customer, I crave violence. So I don't want, you know, to mess up with this kind of customer, yeah? So let's do like a proper fix. I will say, let's open this laptop and check inside the charging port. Okay, so the back cover, it's out. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard. We have the CPU, we have the onboard RAM here. Proper nice, decent. We have the SSD here. Okay, let's check the charging port. I believe we have to take, uh, we have to take the, yeah, yeah, because the hinge is over the charging port. Uh, let me take the screws out. Okay, let's have a look at the charging port. So the charging port pins are all in place. What is here? What is this? Huh? So we have a scratch there. Huh? Look, look at that scratch. And what is this? This is coming from, from the charging port. So I don't understand what happened here. This is a pretty strange case. I mean, what is here? And what is that uh, scratch track? So not sure what happened here. Look, you can see this track is scratched. You think this track is broken? We can check that. Yeah, we can check that. Can be. But let's check the pins, yeah? Fine, 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 fine. So every track is fine. But I still don't understand what happened here and how the board got scratched inside. The track is still good? I mean, the track is still looking good. Let me check with the multimeter just to be sure. But I still don't understand how the charging port can get scratched inside. How, uh, how this happened? Yeah, the track is good, and this one is good. Okay, let's test one more time. Let's see. So in this way, it's not working. On the other way, it's working, right? Yeah. Okay, it's nothing to do apart from uh, 
let's try to leave the board and let's try to remove the charging port and check the solders because are not only those pins probably has pins behind so let me remove some screws okay so the motherboard is out let's see so on the other side of the board yeah on the other side of the board we can't see anything yeah okay let's use 340 degrees let's see what is happening let's try to remove the port and the port it's out yeah all good so you see with 340 degrees you cannot really melt the plastic of the charging port even if you don't change change with uh, low melt solder For me, it's still a mystery how those trucks are. Uh, they were getting scratched inside of the laptop. But let's check them one more time. The board is looking very good. I mean, every pin was soldered, and uh, I think was soldered. The trucks are fine; no issue with the trucks. So from here to here, good. And from here to here, good. Okay. Let's get the solder iron and let's come with some uh, 190 degree solder wire. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, everything is looking fine. Let's clean and check one more time every track. Yeah, we have a few bridges, but that's okay. Rosin, a lot of rosin. Yeah, perfect. Good. Let's check the charging port. So the charging port pins are all present here. You can see it's a little bit green. So here is some liquid damage. But otherwise it's looking good. The port inside is looking absolutely perfect, yeah, no issues. Can you see what I see? Probably not. Probably not. Check there. It's one pin, yeah? One single pin. One single pin, yeah? This one which is broken check that you can see inside there actually the pad the pad has a crack so that's all you see that pad has a crack this one that pad has a crack there you can see the crack i'm pretty sure you can see it crazy i mean everything on this board looks like new but not that pad no that one is cracked and that can explain the customer fault. Now ordering a, an, another charging, no, we are not doing this, no, no, not on this channel, no, no, we, we are not doing this. Ordering, ordering what? Ordering a Chinese copy, yeah, because you cannot buy original parts. So I can't do it, sorry, can't do it. Can't do it, I can't order another one. Because Lenovo is not selling charging ports. So what we are buying, we are buying a copy, right? Yeah. Perfect, and it's sliding back easily. Wow. You see, what did I tell you? You see, it's like brand new. Check the pins, like brand new, perfect. And my crack pin, where is my crack pin?
Where is that trap pin? I can't see any crack pin here. I don't understand, that's crazy. We check together, we seen a crack pin. Where is it? Huh? Because every pin is perfect. We check together, yeah? We check together, we seen that crack pad, yeah? Where is it? Where is that crack pad? So we wash from this uh, this angle, right? Yeah, like that. We wash like that, and we seen. We seen something, and now it's not here anymore. Well, oh, that's crazy. Okay, let's get closer because I'm uh, I'm really confused on this point. So here everything is fine, yeah, right? You like every pin, right? It's not cracked. Uh, wait, 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 what is that? What is that there? So do you think actually this is a crack? Yeah, it is, it is. Huh? I'm not even sure, is that a crack or not? You know what, let me check with the multimeter because I cannot trust my eye. No, I can't trust, I can't trust my eye. Okay, let's check with the multimeter. Good, 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 good. And here, You know what, that sucks. I don't know what, what is the problem. But you know what I will do? Yeah, very simple. I will stop this, uh, I will stop the, the recording, yeah? And I will go back on the video. So the port was like that, right? Yeah, it was like that. I will go back to the video and check where uh, where I, I seen that pin uh, to have like a fracture yeah give me one second so check that yeah check that check that you can see the pin has a crack there you can see the pin check that one two three four five yeah that's the pin that's the one which is this one pin number five four five this one this one we seen it having a crack. If it can be like an optical illusion or something, I mean, why the crack is not there anymore? Why the crack is not here? What happened? From that angle, it's no crack. 
should be a crack here, exactly here. Yeah, exactly. No, here. Here should be the crack. And I can't see it. No, nothing is cracked here. Nothing. I can leave the pin, the pin. Good. No, it's absolutely fine. No, every pin is fine. I don't want to damage the port. Okay, this is some uh, voodoo thing. I, I don't understand, yeah? When uh, we can clearly see here, yeah? Like clearly, you can see a crack on the pin. I mean, it's exactly on the pin. You understand? So this is the first. No, one second. Yeah, this is a pin. Here is a crack. It's a pin with a crack. You can see the crack there. The crack is exactly on the pin. So how the crack can disappear? Hmm? Yeah, perfect here and perfect here. Yeah, you know what? I believe it's just a solder on the, on the motherboard. That's what I believe it is. It's just a solder there. But we're going to see. We're going to put back uh, the port. Uh, let's see if it's working. Okay, so the port is back. Let's bend this. Perfect. Like new, right? Yeah, it's like new. Inside, perfect. Yeah. All good. Let's solder the port back. So what do we need to solder the port? Actually, we don't need anything, right? Yeah. Good. So we have solder and we have uh, rosin. Yeah. And that's perfect. Same temperature. We are waiting for the port to slide in. Perfect. So the port is soldered properly, right? Yeah, it is. Good. Let's check again. Let's see. Let me cool down the board quickly. Good. Let's plug the charger. And this way. It's not working. That's crazy. And on the other way? No, it's not a port. It's not a port. I can't believe I forgot uh, the recording on pause. Anyway, uh, what I did in five minutes, I just, you know, uh, I swapped the charging port with another one because I cannot trust this one. So we have another charging port here, genuine, and uh, it's working on one side and on the other side. Hmm, ready? No, it's not working. So basically this port was good. <laughs> Means what we see in here is a lie, yeah? 
it's an optical illusion, like actually that pin is cracked. No, it's not cracked. It's something wrong with the board. And we're going to find out what is wrong with the board. Okay, so let's take this logical. So looking at the charging port, I don't remember from which side. You should have the pin number 5 from one side. You should have a resistor, like around 4.7 kilo of the resistor connected to ground. Then when you uh, uh, spin the board, you should have exactly from the same side, yeah? You should have the pin number 5 with a resistor connected to ground. So I will say... Let me take the let me take the port out and let's check together. This will be like a quick job, but I don't understand why uh, why I didn't check from the beginning. I mean, the port was out, was like very easy for me to check, so not sure why I didn't check. I really thought it's the charging port, you know, has a crack pin. Okay, so the port is out. Let's go and uh, check together. Yeah, now it's making sense, yeah? so pin number five. Pin number 5 has like 4 ohms to ground, you can see. So here something is wrong. Not sure where this track is going. Can go, probably one of those diodes. So one of those diodes is shorted. But we're gonna find out, yeah? Let me come with the power supply. Power supply, low voltage. This pin. And it's taking 100 milliamps. Let's see what is taking 100 milliamps. 200 milliamps. And check there, you can see there a diode, check there, uh, I'm not sure if you can see, you can see it next to the probe, next to the probe is here, that one, that one is gone, yeah, I found it, I found it, I found it, yeah, so this one, this diode is shorted, yeah, that's, that's why it's not working, yeah, this one. Good. Let's uh, let's take out the diode. Yeah, this one. This one was shorted a hundred percent. Yeah. If we are checking now the track again, I check here. Yeah. One more time. We are checking with the ground, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's no short anymore. Good. Let's try to find another diode. Found it. Found the diode. Found the diode. Yeah, it's bigger, but it's okay. It's from the uh, same data line from another board. Perfect. We have a diode there. Perfect. Now let's solder the charging port. Yeah, the tracks are all good. Charging port is on place, the customer charging port. Perfect. Let's see, let's cool down the board. I mean, the fault was pretty obvious. I don't understand why it took me like one hour. One hour. Can't believe. Okay, let's check together. Let's plug the charger. And here it's working. Yeah, good. And on the other way around, it's working. Can't believe it's working. We have Pete's uh, picture, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, i seen people on the chat on the last video. Uh, sorry, we don't have picture, we have pizza. <laughs> uh, okay, let me put back the, the board quickly. 
and uh, let's do a final test. Okay, so everything is back in place. Check here. Yeah, 14 volts, 2 amps. Solid. Now on the other way. Hmm? 14 volts, 2 amps. So the charging port is working properly now. Now, hopefully, you know, uh, you get something from this video. But if I didn't see that pin, if I didn't see that pin, this job is to be very short. Yeah. But just because we seen this, we seen this crack pin, actually, you know, it make me believe it's a, you know, a charging port issue. It's not actually a motherboard problem. But yeah. Sometimes we have this kind of uh, voodoo jobs. So I'm going to stop now. I will say, you know, thank you for watching. You know, just, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Yeah, don't forget about the Sunday coffee. Bye.